In a bid to streamline the SACO sector and protect member savings in light of the recent collapse and financial distress of some societies, the government proposed a raft of new policies to guide operations of the movement. They include introduction of venture capitalists into SACOs, a move opposed by stakeholders saying it's an attempt to sneak back the social impact members, a proposal that was earlier rejected by SACO members, adding that SACOs lack capacity to handle private equity. It will be a window of opportunity for the capitalists to come and take over the business of the circles. Our circles are not very well uh, endowed with the management and matters on investment. Uh, so we don't have that ca ca human capital capable of managing the capital, capitalists uh, if they come to our business. So for the time being, we are saying we are not ready for it. The leader also wants term limits for elected SACO leaders to be removed and recruiting and sacking of SACO leaders be left to members. Experiences from around the globe and you find that some of the cooperative leaders that we have out there are as old as 90 years old. So really as long as members elect you into the leadership of the cooperatives, we should not talk about uh, the age as if we are talking about employment. It is in employment where we talk about the age limits but not when it comes to cooperative leadership. The Cooperative Alliance of Kenya also proposes deletion of age and education restriction on SACO leaders and instead strengthen measures to curb corruption and mismanagement of the societies. If the members in a cooperative society wish to have their leader for more than two terms, there should be no need. The association further wants tougher penalties given to organizations that fail to remit members' contribution on time. That the policy should be very, very, very clear on what penalties, on how to deal with those employers who have deducted salaries from the employees and they don't remit to their to the, to the respective circles. The proposed draft policy is expected to be presented to Cabinet for approval later this month before being presented to Parliament.